That's what some think in Josephine County. After three failed public safety levies over the last few years, the sheriff's office is running out of money. So if people want public safety, people have to pay for it. County Commissioner Cheryl Walker says public safety has fallen on the backs of property owners since the nation was created. The county residents had a different suggestion. Just days after Brian Killian was arraigned on charges of murdering Jerry and Joanne Jackson. This is a case of course the need for the county commissioners to use a million dollars as allowed by law to support more rural patrols by the sheriff's department. The $500,000 to $1 million sitting in the road reserve fund would be allocated to the sheriff's office. If adopted, it would add two more deputies for rural road patrolling over the next two years. Although many were in favor, some say commissioners can't just move funds they don't have because they didn't get the voters to approve the levy. We have bridges that need to be replaced. And roads, good roads, are a major factor in public safety. The commissioners didn't have much to say to support the allocation of funds. 85,000 residents, two deputies. Simple math to saying that it, it won't have the effect that I think people expect it to. There's been no solution to saving the sheriff's office yet. Many residents say they haven't supported the levy because they don't trust the commissioners. Covering your news in Grants Pass, Ariana Rakshani, News 10.